Hi, I'm Christina Borinescu and this is MLM News. Well, today we are in Sofia, in Winecoin offices, and uh, I'm here and I'm happy to introduce you Dr. Ruzha Ignatova, the founder of Winecoin. Um, welcome. <laughs> no, you're welcome to our office. I'm very happy to have you here. So, well, warm welcome to Sofia and to, to our office. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, I want to be efficient, so I'll <laughs> start with the questions for our interview. Um, you're a success, successful businesswoman, so uh, you could uh, uh, start any kind of business. Uh, why did you choose the cryptocurrency uh, field? Uh, um, I have been working actually in banking and finance most of my life. My um, education background is law and economics, so I have been always very interested in everything with finance. Um, you know my, my CV, my background is, has nothing to do with network marketing. So I always say this is the first and the only network marketing company that I will ever do. But um, when I was working for McKinsey, and by the way I have been also doing some work in Bucharest while I was there. I was working for two of the big banks there. So I know Bucharest quite well and I have very fond memories there. Um, while I was working at McKinsey, I was always very interested in innovations. So what happens in the market? What are the new things? In 2009 and 2010, I started watching Bitcoin. And uh, if I'm very, very frank, in the beginning, I was not convinced that Bitcoin has some future. It was very small. It was very technical, very complicated. So um, I was watching it as part of my work, as part of my interest. And then uh, you know the story of Bitcoin. It grew, it grew more and more, more and more people get attracted to it. And uh, it becomes something that everybody knew, a brand and um, the first the pioneer cryptocurrency. Now, um, Bitcoin has a lot of advantages, and as I said, they were the first one who went into the market. But uh, in my opinion, they have also a lot of disadvantages. And um, when I was with colleagues and with friends, I remember one evening when we started discussing Bitcoin again, and I was just like explaining a bit, what is it? How does it work? What is good? What is bad about it? And in one point of time, one of my friends said, why don't you start actually something like this yourself? And first it was a joke, but then I started thinking and uh, what needs to be done, what is missing on the market, what is something that actually might work. Because if you think what changed our life in the past, 10 years ago there was no Google, 6 years ago there was no Facebook, all these things were not existent. <laughs> and nobody, you know, first people were smiling about this, yes, this will never work, but in one point of time somehow it became a huge success. So. Um, to me, combined to finance and innovation in internet, I felt that this might be the next big thing actually and there's a lot of potential and opportunity for improvement. So actually this is why I started OneCoin. And uh, I want to dig, uh, to dig here, um, do you see any weak point? <laughs> there are always, there's, how to say, everything has good and bad sides. So. I think it's very important that people decide what is important for them. Bitcoin um, is a very decentralized currency and uh, one of the main, how to say, um, advantages or points of uh, value of Bitcoin are the anonymity of the, of the coin. So it means that you can do transactions quite anonymously. I can send money from here to there without people knowing who it is and uh, there are special needs that are, how to say, catered by this currency. OneCoin currently is um, having a bit of a different approach. So we're currently using a centralized approach. So of course, when you use a centralized approach, this has again positive and negative sides. Positive is that you cannot be hacked. For example, you cannot lose your coins because we back up the system. Positive is that we have a main strategy for the whole coin. So we develop the coin, do software development, um, attract merchants for it. But negative is always, you come from a communistic country to, you know, centralization, people think abuse of power and control. So um, to avoid this one, what we have done is, and I think we are one of the first cryptocurrencies who did this, uh, we have an auditor um, who is uh, coming from um, one of the big firms here, and he's auditing every month our blockchain because 
The biggest concern in a centralized cryptocurrency is that somebody does something to the blockchain. For example, there are coins outside the blockchain, that there are more coins mined, that there are transactions outside. So um, I'm afraid you cannot find the perfect cryptocurrency, but uh, at least we try somehow to manage all these, um, how to say, um, disadvantages or trust issues because you know that also our business is not very easy, that a lot of people have made bad experiences and so we try to create trust with audits, with uh, being as much as possible, you know, applying the regulatory frameworks and uh, you know, all these things. No, of course. Um, it, it's very interesting this combination between uh, cryptocurrency and uh, net marketing. <laughs> so why do you think of the marketing? <laughs> well, um, in the beginning, when I started doing one coin, uh, as I said, I was thinking, what is missing on the market, or how can I make this coin big? And um, in my opinion, what was or is missing on the market is a coin for the people, a coin where everybody can just plug in, mine the coin, or use the coin. Because Bitcoin uh, is and was a coin for the elite, in my opinion. Either you're very good with IT, very sophisticated, very smart, then you can go and buy yourself a server and mine the coin, or you have quite a lot of money and you say, oh, what do I do with my money? I buy a bit of gold, I buy a bit of Bitcoin and so on. But what was missing, in my opinion, was um, a coin that is very broad with a big target audience. And um, of course, I, I was exploring different distribution models. So one distribution model could be to go through the big investment banks. One distribution model could be to go only with online distribution channels or no distribution model at all, like most of the cryptocurrencies have, like they just float and see what happens. But um, I have uh, some very, very good personal friends, actually, and one of them was doing network marketing. <laughs> and he came, why don't you try network marketing? And um, I was very skeptical in the beginning, to be very, very honest, because I did not know network marketing business and so on. But um, trying this was actually the right decision, because currently we have customers in 184 countries, over five continents, and uh, this is very important for cryptocurrency. If I would have all, we have today about 300,000 active members, if I would have them all in one country or very close geographically, it would not work very well for the cryptocurrency. Because cryptocurrency is working for transfers from A to B. And in a country like Europe, it is very easy to make money transfers. But if you have, for example, Asia, if you send money from Singapore to India, this is something very, very different. Yes. You had a big event in, uh, in Dubai. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us about it? Well, um, this is my third actually big corporate event and uh, every one of them was special. <laughs> so the first event was uh, in Finland in September last year. Not so many people, but very warm people, very close, very, very interested in cryptocurrency. The second one was in Hong Kong where we mined the first coin together. And now this was uh, another highlight with 3000 people in Dubai. And um, on this event, we launched some new things, you know, the network always expect uh, to see some evolution of the cryptocurrency, some new things. And um, Dubai was um, on the sign of the gold coin. The gold coin is um, a cryptocurrency which is uh, backed up by gold. Normally, cryptocurrencies are not backed up by anything else than the mathematical code, which protects people from issuing too many coins and so on. But this is something new, it's a new structured product, which is, um, as I say, cryptocurrency backed up with uh, cryptocurrency and with gold. And uh, this is one of our companies doing it, so it's not in the OneCoin network, it's not sold in network marketing approach. Uh, all our members have access to this, um, but um, it's something special and it's something that um, is more like, um, how to say, it's a different type of, of product. And um, our company in Dubai has a license for trading with gold and it's all done from our Dubai office. So it was somehow celebrating opening the office in Dubai, uh, launching this currency and um, somehow growing the one family actually. Because OneCoin is uh, its own cryptocurrency, it is sold in the network marketing uh, environment with the education packages and so on. But um, the gold coin is just something special that uh, the network has uh, access to at preferential conditions. Yeah.
So what do, would you recommend? One coin or <laughs> this uh, new one? Uh, actually, what I would recommend is never to put all eggs in one basket because everybody knows that it's always, whatever you do, it's never good to have everything in uh, one thing. Uh, we all remember in Eastern Europe the real estate bubble. So if you put all your money in uh, real estate, yes, it grows, 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 but at one point of time it goes down. So what I would recommend is just having a healthy balance. But what is very interesting is when you look at the numbers between gold, how gold develops, the gold price and cryptocurrency, you will see that they both uh, correlate. So whenever cryptocurrency is growing, also gold price is growing. And uh, why is that? Because in difficult times, um, people do not trust governments, do not trust their currencies, like in Russia, for example, the crisis now. So they go out of traditional currency, they buy gold to feel safe and they buy cryptocurrency, which again is not dependent on the government. So this is why I think cryptocurrency and gold go actually very, very well together. But the first time I saw this, I was surprised, to be very honest. So um, we are very proud of this project of um, the gold backed uh, currency. I know that a lot of people tried this before. But uh, actually, um, they did not have enough interest for this. And uh, with the OneCoin members being so also interested in this, I think this will give also the gold coins a big start. And um, I'm very excited about this. I, I like both projects a lot. Um, I studied <laughs> about yes. OneCoin. And uh, uh, I know people uh, who see this proje project uh, have one question. <laughs> yes. Uh, where does the money in the OneCoin network marketing system uh, uh, come from? Um, it is my understanding that uh, OneCoin uh, is an academy, mm -hmm. uh, the One Academy, mm -hmm. uh, which offers courses uh, regarding uh, cryptocurrency transactions. Mm -hmm. uh, if these courses represent uh, your uh, basic activity, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what does the OneCoin currency uh, have to do with the system. Ah, okay, now I understand. So it's a bit about value creation, mm -hmm. about the activity of the business and so mm -hmm. on. Now, um, my background is, as you saw, yes, I do finance and so on, but I also have been teaching one year in university. So for me, always education was very, very important. Now, when I speak about cryptocurrency and we say that we want to do a currency for the people, for everyone, if people do not understand cryptocurrency, if they just hold this, if they just have something, to them, this is just a number. It is not, um, how to say, it's nothing real, they do not understand it, they do not understand how to use it. So for me, the starting point when we created the company was to start with education, which is not very complicated, which is not a, how to say, university degree, but something that everybody can listen to, can watch and can understand. And if you watch the One Academy, which I guess you have had a look on, it's about, first of all, it's about financial goals, it's about where do I want to be financially, the question that you asked, what should I do with my money? How much should I put in here? How much should I put in there? How can I make my family, myself secure? And of course, a big part of it, what is cryptocurrency? How do I use it? How can it change my life and the payment system? So this is definitely the starting point. Now, with our packages, we have these tokens in the, in the packages. So whoever decides from the network to mine the currency, he can. With these tokens, he can make a decision and say, okay, I want to explore cryptocurrency, I want to go into it, I want to mine the coin and create this cryptocurrency, be part of it. Because cryptocurrency, we cannot sell cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency is mined and created in the process. Now, and I think the second question that you asked me is, why actually has one coin a value? Why, how do we create value with cryptocurrency? What's the point? Now, uh, I have been researching a lot of network marketing companies and with some of them I just wonder how do they create value for the members. But with cryptocurrency the network effect is huge. Uh, you see also Bitcoin in the beginning almost no value creation and then at one point it explodes. Why? Because more and more people use it, because more and more people know it and because the brand develops. So cryptocurrency has a value because of three things. One is there are always speculators on the market. People come buy and sell and so on. The second one are investors, people who say, okay, I invest today and I believe one coin will develop the same way like Bitcoin, will go from 10 cents to 1,000 euro or whatever. And these are investors who do not go in and out so fast, but they have a horizon between one, five years, something like this. But actually, the really interesting thing and why I'm excited about cryptocurrency is how you use cryptocurrency. And uh, we're currently in the beginning, we have mined about 7% of all coins. 
But um, if you think about cryptocurrency, it's actually like a banking system because you from Romania can send within 10 minutes money to the United States. The United States can send money to India within 10 minutes with the blockchain. So this is actually like um, a system where you can make payments, where you can make money transfers. It's like PayPal actually. It's the same like you can make a payment in PayPal within seconds. And this is what we try to teach our members and try and make them understand. And this is why the network is so valuable. Because the more people come in, the more valuable this payment network comes. And this is how actually cryptocurrency, in my opinion, creates value. Of course, a lot of our members are speculators and investors, but I strongly believe that they will understand also the utility of the currency and why this is something so special. I see. Um, another hot question. Yes. <laughs> uh, is there any guarantee for a person who invests in one coin? No, there's no guarantee, but um, I think there are only limited investments where you get a guarantee. Uh, even government bonds have no guarantee because uh, government can default. Uh, a guarantee uh, is also wrong to ask because as you said, it's the education package that you invest in. The only thing that we can refer to is, of course, historical data, see how Bitcoin developed, how Litecoin developed and so on. But a guarantee cannot be issued. And I would be very, very careful if somebody comes to with which whatever investment and says there's a guarantee that this and this will happen. Is there a guarantee with real estate that you can rent out an apartment? There's not. And uh, let's not forget, cryptocurrency is a risky investment. The risk and return always go together. So if you want to make big returns, most probably the risk is also big. There's no free lunch outside. So if you go and invest in government bonds, the return is very, very small. We speak about 1%, 2% per year. If you go in a riskier investment, then the return can be much higher. Um, so what would be your message for the people who are afraid to a possible scam? Um, what exactly would be the scam now that they don't get the cryptocurrency, that the cryptocurrency price does not go up? Or what, what do you mean exactly? Pyramid scams and so on and so forth. <laughs> now, there are a lot of buzzwords, pyramid scams and so on. So uh, what would be my message? Well, my message would be if they are interested in cryptocurrency, uh, I think they can go in even with a small package of 130 euro. You know, 130 euro is nothing that... Uh, uh, can ruin a person, but they can test the system, they can get convinced what is happening and uh, you know, and get a feeling for the cryptocurrency. There was a guy actually who, um, this is a real story, uh, a Norwegian guy who bought for $27 bitcoins, uh, I think 2010. And then he woke up 2014 <laughs> and figured out that he has over $800,000 in his uh, coin account actually and sold it, bought a huge flat there. Um, I don't know, people always accuse scam pyramids. The business is not easy, but um, I think we are an extremely transparent company. Uh, we have the auditor who is doing these audits every month. Uh, you in my office here, I don't know how many people invite you in their offices. We are quite real people and we do real business. And uh, for me, my own reputation is extremely important. So as you said, I could have done so many other things. And um, you know, I had also offers from some of the big investment banks to go and work there. Um, I think I strongly believe that OneCoin can change the future of payments and uh, this is why I'm in here and uh, this is what I can say to people. If they trust us, they should come with us. If they don't, then they should look for another opportunity. There are so many outside, I'm sure they'll find something that they like. Um, are you thinking about enrolling in um, one of the direct selling associations? We are thinking or what to say you know it's a bit of a local question um, in some countries it is good to enroll there in others it's not for me it is more important that we comply to the regulations in the markets that we are um, taking care of the market so um, normally we speak locally to our uh, people and members and only if they say listen for us it's very important because whatever then we discuss it with them we have a legal and compliance department here who are very much uh, always, uh, you know, looking that we are compliant everywhere. And uh, currently, I have no plans, but I have been discussing with Japan. I have been discussing with some of the Asian countries if we are thinking about this. But uh, currently, we have not enrolled anywhere. Um, if we see benefits for the members, we might. So I don't feel strong about this. Um, what is your vision 
Um, which are your next steps? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what should Bitcoin uh, investors and partners expect? Now, if you if you would have asked me this in September last year, it would have been I said we want to be top three in the market. Now, in terms of market capitalization, uh, if you see how many coins we have mined and how we will start trading, we are number three. But uh, we are still in the beginning because um, what a lot of people do not understand, we are still in a baby phase. We have mined only seven yes. percent of the Three currency. Mm. So what I expect for this coin is actually to become usable in the next one and a half years. I want uh, this coin not to be just a number. I just want this coin to be part of everyday life. So my big vision, my big vision is, and I cannot give you a total number. Is it in 18 months? Is it in 24 months? Is I would like to make our cryptocurrency very liquid, usable, uh, and to link it to a credit, uh, not credit card, but Visa, Mastercard, China Union Pay card. So just imagine you have 101 coins, which today will be valued at about 120 euro. So you load them on your Mastercard and you and I can go and have a coffee and you just pay with this card. And for me, this then makes cryptocurrency real. And this is how I know that we actually fulfilled our vision, that we have a coin that can be used everywhere by anyone in a very simple way. Bitcoin currently, nobody knows exactly how many merchants take Bitcoin, 50,000, 100, it doesn't matter. Yeah? But if you link this to the MasterCard and to the Visa network, these are millions of merchants. You become independent. But to come to, to this point, you need to have a good network, a broad network and many people because you need liquidity on the market. So our goal until year end is, to be about 750,000 people, maybe next year a million, and uh, really to push the usage of the coin more. Enroll merchants first in steps, and then one day really link this to, to a MasterCard and uh, make this currency actually very, very real in real life. So this is my, my vision. And you answer uh, another hot question. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, people ask uh, how and when uh, can I use it? Well, how and when? Uh, we start the following actually, um, how and when they can already use it in two weeks. But um, as I say, we start very slow because we currently are in a very, very uh, beginner's phase. So people will start trading the coin already in two weeks just to get used to the trading. And uh, they will be able internally in our online shop to buy things for the coins and things like this. So we start already, uh, how to say, using the coin internally in the family and then we'll go out and out again. The good thing about the blockchain is, which uh, currently is in the back office actually, uh, the good thing about the blockchain is that uh, it allows us to integrate merchants very easy. So it means like um, a bookshop can or an online store can use our coin as a payment method and we have a lot of people already asking for can we use one coin as a payment method but we currently are developing still our system so this should come until year end and it will be a very big step so uh, how to say if I tell you you can start doing everything at once no it doesn't work like this because um, as I say there's so many people out there promising you everything immediately and not delivering we are maybe not always the fastest company, but we deliver what we promise and we try to create the best value for the members as much as we can. But actually, uh, the value is created by the members themselves because the more they use the coin, the more people they are, the more people speak about the coin, the more the value grows. I see. Um, is there any question <laughs> uh, you have been happy to answer and uh, we did not put it to you? <laughs> Uh, yes, actually, there's one thing that I would like to say a few words <laughs> about. Um, we have a, a foundation, uh, which is called the One Foundation, and we started it uh, last year. And um, the idea was, um, how to say, we're successful, we are happy, we are living in a good world, but not everybody is this. Uh, we have a lot of members also from Asia and from other countries where life is not as easy as it is. So um, our foundation, or this, or it's my foundation, uh, deals with uh, children. Education of children was first the idea to go in, but actually what we have been doing more and more is to invest more in health and uh, medicine for children. And um, our members um, are amazing. They, they also donate coins for the business and, um, you know, uh, money also. So what we have done is we have helped over 300 children, blind children in Cambodia. So we paid for surgery there and so on. 
Um, we start supporting here local, you know, child, uh, child currently which has cancer and, uh, you know, these are things that we do and uh, I just uh, want people who have the opportunity either to join with a donation or with a project or whatever. We're always very happy if they come to us, even if it's somebody in need or whatever. So this is something that I'm actually personally excited. I don't have a lot of time, I have to say, but um, uh, I have people here dedicated to this and uh, we really would like also to do something there. Um, I have donated uh, the profits also from the books that I wrote to this um, charity. So uh, if somebody wants to translate the book in Romania, I'm very happy if they do this and they can keep the profit and just dedicate them to a local charity. This is something that we have done also for other markets. So this is dear to my heart. <laughs> if somebody is interested to work with us there, uh, we're very happy to welcome them and to talk about this. Well, thank you very much and we'll be waiting for you in Romania. I would that love to come. Good. As I said, I like uh, Bucharest actually a lot. And um, thank you for coming here and visiting us. So uh, I guess somebody will just walk you around the office so that you can have a look. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much.